this is your forward facing sonar is to use these type of baits here. One of the greatest ways to actually fish and this time of year is by far it's the jerk bait. Um, it's it's my favorite way to really cover water. And this is, I mean, I think one of the things that really made my brother and I such a, a deadly weapon um, in the fishing world, especially if you're doing a team tournament thing, um, is the jerk bait. And this is kind of my strategy where anywhere I go in the country, chrome, hot gold, blue. Those are the three colors you're going to start with. Why? I want draw. I want these fish to be drawn towards the bait. It is just like when you throw a big swim bait, especially if you got a little bit of clarity in the water, you're going to see them. So I can go through a pocket and if I'm throwing this extremely reflective chrome in a clear lake, let's say Lake Anna, I might not hook a single one, but if there is a bass there, I will see it. And then I can make the adjustment and come back in there. And that's how I can eliminate water with these things. These super duper clear, clear looking colors. If the fish aren't dialed into this color specifically, they're not going to bite it. It doesn't have the draw power. Now, granted this right here, this right here might not get the bite. It'll draw them. So you'd be like, Tom, well, if this might not get the bite, why not just go with this one here? I, I, it has a better catch ratio. Absolutely. But I'm not going to be able to see all the fish that are in an area. If I throw this, I might go to seven different pockets and catch maybe let's say two. Great. I'm going to focus on those two pockets. However, there were fish in the other three pockets. I didn't see them though. And I granted, I understand pan optics and live forward facing sonar, but let's say you don't have that. This is your forward facing sonar is to use these type of baits here. So if I'm going to get a bite out of three pockets out of 10 with this, but out of those 10 pockets, if I get to see fish in five of them, I have a better chance of coming back through there with another bait and, and catching them. So that's why I generally start with the, the hottest colors humanly possible, silver, gold, and chrome. From that point, once I mark fish and I see how they're uh, adjusting to the bait, then I'm going to switch out colors. And that's when we're going to start going into that more neutral, realistic color form. Thank you guys so much for everything. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. More to come.